Today we make a stop at OKM. We're talking rugby with the head coach of the OKM Huskies, Stephen Doyle. Uh, thanks for joining us. You guys had all sorts of success this past year. Let's just recap the season because it was a great season, finishing fifth in the province. Yeah, we had a, a great season. Uh, we had a, a very good group of young guys. Um, I think they really benefited from they went on tour and marched to Ireland. Um, and I think that experience really stood them in good stead. They, they got an opportunity to play some very good rugby, um, experience some good coaching over there. And I think most importantly, the, the foundation was sown in that they got to know each other very well uh, on and off the field. And that really translated to uh, coming into this season in the Valley. Uh, they were prepared to work very hard for each other and uh, you know they got on very well. And we had a very good uh, graduating class a lot of grade 12 guys, um, so they'd known each other for a long time, played rugby together for a long time. So there was certainly some foundation there before we came in, so that was great. Are you surprised that you had so much success? I mean, this is the first school ever to finish as high as you did in the provincials. Um, personally, I wasn't. Um, I, I think part of the, the stigma around rugby in the Okanagan, having coached at uh, club level at under-19s, I, I think a lot of the stigma is that with the powerhouse of rugby being on the coast or being on the island, that teams from the Okanagan don't really have the right to compete right. At, at the top table. Um, but certainly we knew that uh, with, with a certain degree of talent, and of course you have to have a talent base um, to start with, and we did here, um, but with the right amount of coaching, uh, with the right structures um, and the right patterns in place, um, we can certainly achieve a lot more than teams have in the past. So uh, we were certainly confident as a coaching duo, uh, myself and Chuck, that uh, we could do well with these guys. They were prepared to work hard. We'd uh, put a game plan and a structure in place that was going to work to our strength and you could certainly see that it did well for us and it frustrated teams that we played against. They weren't used to the style of play that we employed and if you were to look at our team, we didn't have a lot of big, big guys or a lot of super fast guys and we didn't have a big squad numbers wise but the guys were prepared to work hard. They, they stuck to the game plan and uh, it brought us a lot of success. Is it growing? Is rugby growing? Not only at OKM, but also across the, the province and maybe not even the province, but the interior? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a, an organization within the Central Okanagan called uh, CORE, Central Okanagan Rugby Enthusiasts. And they do a lot of work at developing rugby from the grassroots level up. And of course, like any sport, whether it's hockey, soccer, basketball, it has to start with the kids and certainly in the time I've been in the Okanagan which is just over five years um, I've certainly seen rugby growing as a support as a sport I mean rugby at senior level has always kind of been in and around the Okanagan but of course that only has a definitive life cycle whereas now we're starting to see the introduction of touch rugby sevens rugby which is shorter formats of, of the traditional game being introduced at uh, the junior high school level the senior high school level and uh, that's only going to flow nicely then in to more people playing rugby. I want to add to your success here this past season. The last few weeks we've been looking for the RyanWaters.ca High School Coach of the Year. You were nominated by the Athletic Director here at uh, OKM, Paul Thiessen, and through a voting system you have been determined the winner oh, of wow. the High School Coach of the Year. So I would like to present you with the ultimate ticket package here. So inside wow. the envelope you'll find 10 tickets to a Kelowna Falcons game, two tickets to an Okanagan Sun game, two tickets to a Kelowna Rockets game, and 10 tickets to a Westside Warriors game. Wow. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're, you're, you're very welcome. Thank Paul Thiessen because he's the one that nominated you. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a great guy. Uh, I obviously got to work uh, somewhat indirectly with Paul this year at OKM. And, uh, you know, I think athletic directors need a lot of credit for the amount of work that they have on their plate. And especially this year with, uh, with what's going on with uh, the teacher strike and so on. Uh, he had a lot on his plate and he, he took a lot of time out of his day to kind of find out what we were doing. And rugby is obviously not his main sport, but uh, being an athletic, guy um, you know he was very passionate about OKM doing well and he was always there to offer any words of encouragement or uh, you know come to me and, uh, and ask if there's anything that he could do so uh, you know it was a great uh, great experience working with him. Can you have the same sort of success next year will you be here again next year the coach of the year? Uh, I'd, I'd like to <laughs> uh, well I don't know if my wife will let me yeah. we uh, we just had a, a baby boy in May That's so uh, we'll, we'll see how things go but uh, you know great 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 group of guys and uh, I think anyone can kind of take it from looking outside that if you have a, a group of dedicated athletes that are prepared to work and, and you put the right sort of structures in place then the world is your oyster. Mm -hmm. Coach thanks so much and congratulations. Thank you. Stephen Doyle he's the head coach of the OKM Huskies rugby team and he's also the RyanWaters.ca coach of the year. Thank you so much for watching and thank you very much for voting.